Hello everyone, this is Houndex here, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own cracked Minecraft server 1.16.2. And this tutorial will work for the cracked version of Minecraft and the official version. And I'm using the cracked version of Minecraft Key Launcher, but this will work for either one. And if this video does help you out, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for you to the channel. But anyways, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and minimize Minecraft. Now you want to hold the keyboard shortcut window key plus R to open that. And you want to type in percentage app data. Percentage. And you should be brought to this folder. Now you want to go to minecraft.minecraft. Now you want to go to save. And these are the list of worlds that you have currently created. And you're going to want to know which world you're going to want to use to host the Minecraft server. I'm going to use this one. So you're going to want to go ahead and copy and paste. And I already copied on my desktop, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip, since I already copied this. And now once you have copied it to your desktop, you want to open up the browser. You want to head over to eternals.org. I'll also put this in the description below so you can navigate to this easily. And this is going to be the website we're using to host the Minecraft server. Close out this. And now you're going to want to go to play. You want to go and sign up with Eternals, so you want to go to sign in with Google. Now you want to uh, sign into your Google account. This is basically so that we can create an account for Eternals if you haven't already. And I highly recommend using Google since it's a lot quicker. Alright, so once you're in your account, you should see servers and you want to go ahead and create a server. Now when you see this, you're going to want to go ahead and rename your your IP or your address to wherever you want. So you can call this account server. It could be wherever you want and you can save it. And for server, just quickly change it. Alright, so once you save it, you can go ahead and change the icon if you want to and as you see we just changed it now it depends on what version you're using for minecraft uh if you're using the java edition then choose java if you're using a different version then choose bedrock but i'm using the java edition so i'm gonna choose that one and now you want to go ahead and create all right so once you're here you want to go ahead and go to worlds all right so once you're here you want to go to upload folder Now you want to head over to your desktop and choose the folder name of your world. Go ahead and click upload. Alright, so once you see this check mark, you, your world has successfully been uploaded. Now you want to go to options. Now once you're here, you want to go ahead and check crack. This is a very important step because if you don't do this and you're using a cracked Minecraft client, then the server won't work and it won't let you in. And the other settings are based on your own preference. For example, if you don't want PvP, you can turn it off. I'm going to turn on command blocks because I want them. And game mode, I can set to create this. And now you can go to server. Now you're going to want to click start. And this can take a moment. And it can take actually several minutes depending on your computer speed. It can vary from person to person. But you just want to be patient and let it start loading. And I'll be right back to you guys when this is done. Alright, so after a while, you should see that it will be online, and it will make that kind of ding-dong sound. Every time when you upload a new server, it will give you 6 minutes to start it, so if this timer goes down to 0, then your server will get shut down automatically, and you'll need to restart it. So, you probably want to start it really quickly before it gets shut down. Then you can go to multiplayer and do direct connection or add server. I'm going to do direct connection. You're going to go ahead and copy this address and go ahead and paste it in the minecraft and as you can see we're now in minecraft we're officially now in there and as you can see we're now in the world and i'm gonna quickly close out of the browser because you don't really need it after all right so as you can see i'm going back to my like my base and 
that's pretty much it for the video. So you've successfully started your own Minecraft server. This server will run forever until everyone leaves the server. So you can go ahead and have fun and play with your friends. So hope you all found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like, um, turn on notifications, share it with your friends. And I'll see you all in my next video.